You're going to want to stay weather alert and prepared and just stay tuned to CBS 4. Download our CBS 4 weather app on your phone. It's free and you'll receive alerts, any kind of warnings that may be taking place. You can see the radar right in the palm of your hand. So it's always going to be very useful during a time of active weather, which will be tomorrow. But this afternoon, it is stunning out there as we look from our broad camera, our Key West camera, and the radar is looking great. It's dry. The breeze, though, has shifted out of the east, southeast, 10, 17 miles. An hour, and that's the reason that we're a little warmer out there. Yeah, look at 79 in Pompano Beach, 77 in Fort Lauderdale, 79 in Kendall, 78 in Miami, low 80s across the Keys, and we're seeing 30s and 40s across the Northeast and Northern tier of the U.S. However, the upper 50s through New Orleans and Houston, and behind the front, we're dealing with the 40s in Denver and Albuquerque. So, although we are quiet for now, take a look at the slow pressure system across Texas and in the Gulf Coast states, and that front that will continue to push towards the east and that's going to cause a travel nightmare as we head into tomorrow and Friday. You can already see plenty of rain stretching into Texas and parts of Louisiana. Now, as we take a look at our weather today, it's looking relatively quiet, maybe a few showers. Tomorrow we'll start to see the potential for on and off again showers in the morning around 9, 10, 11 a.m. even into the afternoon, especially when we're expecting more of the action into the evening. That's when we'll see the potential for some stronger storms and then even overnight look at this line of storms that will likely be pushing through in the overnight hours the timing is still uncertain and we'll continue to tweak this as we head throughout the day and into tomorrow but even tomorrow more as we get into Friday morning, we could see some lingering showers and storms, so it'll be unsettled for quite some time. So strong storms will be likely tomorrow. The slight risk of severe weather, periods of heavy rain could lead to some localized flooding, gusty damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes will be possible due to the wind profile, as we'll have strong upper-level winds and also at the surface strong winds coming out of the south. So that could lead to a spin in the atmosphere. But today, get outside if you can, enjoy it while you can. 79 degrees and for boaters wind southeast 10 to 50 knots seas 2 to 3 a light chop on the bays tonight 70 degrees mild mostly cloudy with some showers so once we get this moisture and this front out of the way the weekend is looking fantastic we are going to be enjoying drier cooler and clearer conditions so again tomorrow we'll warm up to the 80s before the storms roll in Friday we'll see windy conditions and then plenty of sunshine for the weekend highs in the low 70s and looking great for early next week don't forget